The following email came from Brother J.P. concerning pornography. How can a person get help with pornography so that he can be delivered and receive blessing from the Father? Lust is one of Satan's strongholds on the souls of men, but be assured, J.P., that Jesus Christ breaks every yoke. Colossians chapter 2, 13 through 15, And you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross, and having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. The following email came from SB. This website is very helpful in understanding the truth. I believe in Jesus already, but I have some sins I still struggle with. Will God still forgive me for them? SB. Satan attacks the spiritual man through his weakest link, whatever that weakness may be. His weapons fit the weakness, such as sexual lust, covetousness, hatred, bitterness, selfishness, slothfulness, drunkenness, emulations, gossip, fear, etc. When a believer yields unto the temptation, Satan gains dominance. God's word instructs in 2 Timothy 2.19, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his, and let every one that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. We are directed to flee from even the appearance of evil. Colossians chapter 3, 5 through 10. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry, for which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience, in the which ye also walked some time when ye lived in them, but now ye also put off all these, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth, Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. God directs us to mortify, put to death our members. Our members that are upon the earth would include the brain, emotions, eyes, ears, taste, touch, hands, feet, etc., a believer in his war against the various lusts of the flesh cleanses his members of Satan's attachments, submits his members unto God, and through this procedure puts to death their carnal proclivities. J.B. and S.B., be of good cheer. God has made a way of escape. 1 Corinthians 10.13, There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. Today, God said, man said, will outline a biblical procedure that nullifies all of Satan's weapons, every single one. Dear believers, it's time to destroy the devil's strongholds. It's time to be free of the bonds of sin and shame, prepared to be delivered. 2 Corinthians 10, 3-5, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. The nine-step gospel formula for breaking down Satan's strongholds follows. God will not fail you will succeed. Number one, confess and despise. Confess your sin to God and reject that deed by the confession of God's word. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 8 and 9, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Now, despise the deed. When Jesus resisted the devil, he said, It is written, if pornography is the issue, you will say, It is written that no adulterer or fornicator will enter the kingdom of God, and looking upon a woman and lusting after her is the same as committing the deed. I disavow these deeds. Get thee behind me, Satan. Step number two. 
Remove from your home, your auto, etc., all things in which the potential for pornography exists. That means a thorough net nanny on your computer and on your TV. It is important that someone else has the code to disarm these devices, such as your spouse or pastor. Removing, uh, removing excuse me, includes a blocker on satellite radio, as well as removal of printed literature. This must be done immediately. Number three. If you are not baptized in the Holy Ghost, as they were on the day of Pentecost, then get that done. Jesus Christ teaches us that the Holy Ghost will be a supernatural teacher, supernatural memory, supernatural power, and enable a supernatural prayer life. You can satisfy this need right here on God Said Man Said. Click on to the following seven features as listed. Number four. Embark on a 24-hour biblical fast, which means no food or drink for 24 hours. Begin at sundown and end at sundown. During this time, you need to give yourself to the reading of God's word and prayer about the matter at hand. Isaiah chapter 58, verses 6 through 10 reads, the, uh, reads concerning fasting. Is not this the fast that I have chosen, to loose the bands of wickedness? to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, and that ye break every yoke? Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry, and that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house? When thou seest the naked, that thou cover him, and that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh, then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thine health shall spring forth speedily. And thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy re-reward. Then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, and speaking vanity, and if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry, and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light rise in obscurity, and thy darkness be as the noonday. Be sure now when you're fasting that you take the uh, money that you would have spent on food that day, at least that amount of money, and give to the poor. Remember what he said in the passage we just read. You will succeed. God will not fail you. Number five, establish a living gospel pattern. The psalmist praised God seven times a day. Daniel prayed three times a day. Your pattern of action follows in uh, steps number six through nine. Number six, Rise up early before your day begins, 30 minutes would be good, and pray, meditate, read God's word, and commit your day unto him. Before you go to sleep at night, pray, read God's word, and commit your dreams unto him. Number seven, be sure you are in a true Bible-believing church at least three times a week, such as Sunday morning and evening and Wednesday evening. Hebrews chapter 10, 24 and 25, and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. Number eight, get three three by five index cards that will fit in your pocket. On each card, write a scripture verse from the King James Version of the Bible that pertains to the problem the Lord has delivered you from. If it's pornography, write the following. Job 31.1, I made a covenant with mine eyes, why then should I think upon a maid? Matthew chapter 5, verse 28, But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her, hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. James 4.7, Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Read these cards several times a day. Set a pattern when you will read them, such as every time you pick up your car keys. Use the same cards for 90 days. At the end of that period, write three new cards. God will give you the new verses. Number nine, become involved in proclaiming the testimony of Jesus Christ by witnessing to the lost, passing out tracts, ministering in the jails, hospitals, nursing homes, etc. In this giving of yourself, you will find enormous strength. Luke chapter 6, verse 38. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet, with all it shall be measured to you again. These nine steps will surely deliver. The following email came from E.R. 
I have accepted Christ as my Lord and Savior. However, I am afraid that Satan may begin to attack me and my family. I know he could go after the ones I love the most. How can one tell if their faith in Christ will protect them? Thanks, E.R. Dear Brother E.R., place the following verses on your 3 by 5 cards. Isaiah 54, 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. Next card. Isaiah 54, 17, the next verse. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Romans 8.28 And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose.